What is up, everybody? Kick06 here with another testing of the Ryzen 5 8600G, just released less than a week ago. We're going through a little series where we test out games just to see how well they will be handled on this new APU from Ryzen. It is said to have the equivalent of about a 1650 GPU, which is not that great of a card, but it's fantastic and mind-blowing for an APU. We're dropping in right now, we're on low settings, and you can see, and I know Fortnite's kind of notorious for being very laggy in the lobby and on the way down, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a chance to redeem itself once we're on the ground, but um, before you get started, if you do end up getting one of these, uh, one of these new CPUs. Again, this is the Ryzen 5 8600G. Um, if you do get one of these, you will have to download the AMD Adrenaline software, otherwise your game is really not going to work at all. Um, I opened up even just Lethal Company without the drivers that you get from AMD Adrenaline software, and I was getting 7 FPS in Lethal Company. Just ridiculous. So make sure you download that if you are going to be playing. Um, now, what we're doing with this, I got the FPS in the top left corner. You can see the average FPS as well, GPU and CPU usages, as well as how much RAM is being consumed. Just so if you're planning on building a computer, you're going to be able to gauge just how much RAM you need and what kind of power. Um, you're going to need to put forth for whatever game you're going to be playing. If Fortnite is not your main game, or if you have other games that you're going to be playing, feel free to put them in the comments, and if I can, I'll make a video displaying how well it plays um, on this APU. This is the 8600G. My next series is going to be the 8700G, the Ryzen 7, which is better graphics as well. We're going to do the same videos just with those graphics as well. And as you can see on the low settings, we've been hovering around 70 to 90 FPS pretty much this whole time. Here in a couple seconds, we're going to swap over to medium, but um, it is relative. It is a little bit choppy. If if you saw my Call of Duty one, you saw me say that you wouldn't want to play competitive with it. It seems like that's the same for Fortnite. Fortnite's relatively demanding. We were still getting 80 to 100 FPS there on the low settings, and we're swapping over to medium settings right now. Give it a second. It's very laggy right now just because it's trying to adjust the settings. So we're going to spin in circles until it seems like, yeah, it might have figured it out, and then we'll run away. We noticed a little bit of a dip. Now we're getting between about 55 and 75-ish FPS, dropping a little bit the 50s, sometimes getting up to the 80s. Um, by the looks of this, uh, I think the next setting is high, and then after that is epic. I don't even think we're going to touch epic, because you're definitely not going to want to do that if medium has already fallen below 60 FPS at some points in time. Um, if you can tell, which you might be able to, it is a tiny bit choppy, and the Fortnite's always had bad servers, but uh, it is a little bit choppy. Very playable, I will say that. But still, it might get aggravating if you are very competitive because you're not really going to have the edge. But if you're just playing for fun, you're just hopping in lobbies with some friends every once in a while, then this just might be exactly what you need if you don't want to dish out four, five, six, seven hundred dollars on a new graphics card. Uh, here, as you can see, just flying through the air, we're at about we ju we jump down to about 40 um, FPS. We're about we're pretty soon going to jump over into the high settings, and you'll be able to see. But I played this game mode because I wanted you to see what it's like when you're in a gunfight. Because this one, you can drop on anybody, and if you die, you can just respawn and go right back to them and die again. In my case, that's what I do anyways, because I can't aim. Um, if you've seen any of my videos so far, you know that to be true. But I just wanted you guys to see what it's like to build on people, um, how much it can handle... What it can do, and even in the middle of this gunfight, we're still sitting at 70 to 80 FPS, but which is, is pretty dang good on medium settings. Uh, here we're going to swap over to high, and we'll see just what high can do. Again, I did skip the epic settings. I did not feel the need to continue on that. Um, but right off the bat, we're sitting around 40 FPS, which is kind of funny because the best that I did... Playing-wise, I think, was on the high settings, which was the worst FPS, but we're it's pretty much sitting around 40 to 50, but it can drop down to 30s when you're in the when you're in the middle of a battle or a, a pretty intense scene where the APU has to work harder. It's going to dip lower in the FPS, and you can see, but when you're looting or when you're just running around, if you play on high settings, you're going to be looking at right around 50 FPS, which is 
amazing for an APU, but still, if you're even the least bit competitive, I would say you're probably going to want to go on low settings. Here in a little bit, we're going to swap back to low settings for the remainder of the video. Um, but this, I just wanted to show you guys low, medium, and high settings. Maybe it'll help you decide whether you want to go with this APU or buy an actual graphics card. But just remember, I will be doing a 8700G as well, and it has a little bit better graphics. Not a lot, so it's going to be pretty similar, but we will be doing those videos sometime next week or maybe late this week. Um, but that is going to be it for me. Again, my name is Kickazir6. Thank you so much for hanging out. And if there's any other game you want to see, don't forget to drop it in the comments if you have any other questions. There's going to be a Discord and a Twitch link down there as well. And even if you want me to build you a PC because you don't want to build it yourself, just shoot me a message. Um, hop in the Discord, shoot me a message on Twitch. It don't matter. I'm going to respond to every single one of you that comments. So thank you again. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one.